Hi, it's me, Ran, and welcome to day 26. Today's topic is going to be on money management and how to save more of your money than losing it. What made me think of this is a documentary that I watched with my brother a little while ago. It's on Netflix. I tried to look it up and I don't remember what it's called, but um, it's about these pro athlete, mostly football, I believe. And they talk about how these people went most of the time from zero, from nothing, to being found as a talent and then going to the NFL and being making tons of money and then completely going broke in a very short amount of time. And really, the video, the documentary, wasn't focusing on the fact that they were idiots or were dumb and lost their money. It was trying to educate the watcher on why that happened. And they all spoke about their lives pretty openly and they realized their mistake. Um, a lot of the things that they did out of pride, being flashy, keeping up with the Joneses, stuff like that. But mostly all of them agreed that it was because of poor education, ignorance on their part of how to deal with getting all that money. Because if you've gone without for most of your life, and you had to scrape and you had to really watch your spending, you're not going to go out there and buy frivolous things. You're going to only spend money on things that you need and you'll still probably be short just because everything's inflated, right? It's really expensive. Really, when they started making a lot of money, they wanted to live the lifestyle. They wanted to look the part. They wanted to be at the party. We may think that so far away, they're making millions of dollars. That's not like me at all. Think about when they're spending tens of thousands of dollars, that's like when you're spending uh, 50 or $100, maybe out of your budget, that's like tens of thousands of dollars for somebody who's making hundreds of thousands of dollars. So you have to be able to relate to that and how you budget yourself, how you spend it, how you manage your money is dependent on how much you make relatively. Let's say you make a thousand dollars a month with rent or mortgage, car payment, food, your electricity or heating bill, all those things that are necessary, that are needs. I'm not talking about cable or even cell phone because you, you can have you know a landline or you can have uh, a service with the internet, but your, your necessities and then what's left over at the end of the month. Let's say you're a comfortable living American, you're making a few thousand dollars a month. The rule of thumb is that you set percentages away so that you're spending wisely and you do give your yourself some money to go out and have fun with, you know, because all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, right? Or Jill, a dull girl. You need to go out there and enjoy yourself and have fun, but keep it realistic for your lifestyle, for your income. And then you need to have a certain amount that you save away. I mean, I know a lot of Americans, a lot of people in this world are in this situation where they're living paycheck to paycheck. But if you really think about it, is it because of the choices you make? You know, do you go to Starbucks every day? Do you go to happy hour with your friends more often than you should? You know, because $10 here, $20 there, $5 here, they add up really quickly. And you don't really realize, especially when you're spending cash. So what I've always done is um, only allow a certain amount of cash to be in my wallet. And once that's gone, I can't take any more out until the next paycheck or next period or whenever I make the next income. This is just what I'll do and um, you, you can follow this model or decide to do what you want that works for your budget, for your income level. But what I've done is I've always set a certain percentage to save. I save, let's say, you know, 30% of my money. So out of $100, I would save $30 and then I would stow away 20% for bills. I would give myself about 10, 15% to spend. But you would, you would go grocery shopping and do all that stuff and pay bills with it. If you do that, with every time you make money, then you'll find your, your savings will grow a lot faster than you realize. Even if you were to put away a dollar a day, you know, I know that sounds really low, but that's $30 a month that you're saving that you weren't before. And then you can up that, do $2 a day or $5 a day. Instead of going to Starbucks, invest in a coffee machine if you really need caffeine, if you really need coffee, and um, make coffee at home and take that to go in a travel cup. You will save hundreds if not thousands of dollars. I know some people who go to Starbucks like twice a day. That's just an example, but look at your life, kind of examine it and see if you're spending money frivolously and then complaining where did it all, did it all go. If you can't, first of all, if you don't know where it went and you can't keep track of it, that's your first problem. You need to be a little more organized. 
because you're being organized with your time and your your setting up your business and your personal life to be successful, right? So you got to do that when you're actually being successful and making the money. You have to be able to manage that correctly. So I want the best for you. I don't want you to work so hard and then not have anything to show for it. If you're living in the, you know, two, three, four thousand dollar mark per month, don't live like you're living in the ten thousand dollar mark. Don't do it. Set your goals, do what it is that you want to do and, and set yourself up so that you can get there and once you get there, then you can live a little bit more in that league or whatever you want to call it. I know it's really easy to fall into that with whatever's around us in the media, but you don't have to be like the Joneses. And even the Joneses aren't like the Joneses anymore. It's all show, mostly. Okay, that's it. That's the message for today. I want you to be wise with your money, manage it, and spend it well. Save it. Have a blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow.